you know, you can't reinvent the wheel in terms of romantic comedies. You just have to create characters that are alive, that are well structured, that are deep, and and hopefully you make a great movie out of it. And he did. I've been dying to do the move with Paula for years. You know, the, the planets just had to align. And she is, she represents to me the next generation of the leading lady. You know, she borrows from the past heroines, but she blazes a new trail of her own. I love her. I love working with Paula. How beautiful is she? But she allows herself to be vulnerable and goofy and, and run through airports and get in trash cans. That's a dream come true for a director. The director, David Talbert, was fantastic. He's very caring of all his, of all his actors. Paula Patton is just gorgeous. She's just like a beauty to watch. So um, just watching her and working with her was just kind of like a learning experience for me too. There is a major transformation happening with Dancing with the Stars. My body is just like I've lost about seven pounds and then anything else like other than weight it's more like toning. I've gotten really toned. My, my, my stomach is getting nice and flat. I'm getting some nice abs so I can't wait. I feel like it's going to be uh, summer in the winter time for me. I'll be in a bathing suit in December. David is, is very much a, a hands-on director. And uh, with every scene, we, we have a conversation. And myself, I'm very inquisitive, and I, I, I want to know when I'm doing well, when I'm not, and I want to learn as much as I can. I ask about everything from uh, camera angles to, you know, I, and my first film, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, where it was 3D. It was a lot different from this one. And, you know, I was just asking about differences. And it's a lot of learning on site, you know what I mean? And I thank everybody, uh, Catelyn Adams, Susan Besson, everybody that shows me love and helped me to get to where I am. I had not read the book, no. I had not read the book, and then uh, once the movie came to me, I, I didn't want to read the book just because I didn't want to be an uh, influence in any way, so maybe now I will. And we're all human beings. We all have a desperate need to be loved. And my character at Play Montana thinks she's found the love of her life, finds out she's dead wrong, and then in that very same moment finds out her younger sister, played by the beautiful Laura London, is getting married in 30 days. And marriage is really important to her family. And so she's like, I cannot come to one more wedding as a bridesmaid. I want to have a ring on my finger. So she decides to revisit all her ex-boyfriends to see if maybe she was too picky, maybe she didn't try hard enough. And um, in that search, that desperate search for love, she also has a bit of a self-discovery and finds love for herself as well. You know what, honestly, I think there's just too much flack on Miley altogether. I don't know what they expected that girl to do. I think she did a great performance. I thought they both were great, and I had no problem with any of it. She is uh, not only uh, the best human being, but uh, uh, an incredible actress, and this is uh, wonderful to see her. She's on the poster, and be her big starring role and be all about her and I've always told her that uh, any movie that shows her for an hour and a half the whole time <laughs> is something I, I, I will watch a hundred times. I bet, I bet. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here and, and she's just the best man so I, I couldn't be happier.